fair, friendly, generous. Joseph Rosenblatt's good qualities, his friends tell us, were too numerous to list. But John Manson, who nominated him for the award, tried. Dignified, disciplined, gracious. Many, perhaps, he inherited from his parents, Russian immigrants who settled in Salt Lake City before the turn of the century. I think it came from that austere beginning. They, they didn't have anything. They didn't speak the language. Joe's niece quotes his father. And he said, well, you know, in those days, you could buy an acre in Federal Heights for a dollar. He said, but I didn't have a dollar. Being in a land of opportunity, he capitalized on that and built an empire. He went to school, got a law degree from the University of Utah, and joined the family business. Oh, Joe was a very, very able guy. He was no nonsense in the office. While he was president, IMCO became a leading maker of mining machinery. Down there early and stayed there late. And he devoted his life at home to his wife Evelyn and their four children. When Joseph retired, there was another job to do. And I made the public announcement. That Serve his community. My uh, retirement was going to be a very active retirement. Well, I called on him very early for the most important job I had because he was the man I knew could do it and do it right. He chaired Governor Cal Rampton's Little Hoover Commission, which looked at reorganizing the executive branch of state government. He worked uh, eight-hour days a year without any compensation. He served on boards at the Federal Reserve. Served on over 50 community boards or committees. At the Salt Lake Airport, Utah Symphony, Holy Cross Hospital. That's involvement. And he invested in the community, in public schools, in the University of Utah. I mean, he came to the university with it. Where he established the Rosenblatt Prize to honor outstanding faculty members. It wasn't for his ego or for his needs. It was for the betterment of his community. By all accounts, Joseph Rosenblatt was a proper gentleman. I never saw Joe Rosenblatt without coat and tie. Who even to the last weeks of his life regularly walked to the office. Never walked across the street from the apartment to the office without his hat on. And went to work. Joe has made things happen here in Utah. Fact, even politics, in business, in education. A facilitator. True renaissance man. Learned. Ambitious. True friend. Sensitive. Kind. He had this wonderful zest for life, for learning, and for people. Mm -hmm.